What if your notebook could actually think with you? Imagine you're working on a school project, preparing for a big presentation or collecting research for your blog. Usually, you're juggling multiple tabs, flipping through pages of notes and trying to remember where you saw that one important point. But what if there was an AI tool that could read all your notes and documents and actually help you understand, summarize and organize everything without you having to do all the digging? That's exactly what Google's Notebook LM does. And in this video, I'll walk you through how it works, why it's such a game changer and how you can start using it right away. So first things first, what exactly is Notebook LM? Think of it as a smart research partner. It's an experimental AI by Google that lets you upload your own content like Google Docs, PDF or Notes and then answers your question based on that material. Unlike ChatGPT, which relies on general internet knowledge, Notebook LM sticks to what you give it. You can ask it to summarize this file, explain this topic like I'm 5 years old or list key takeaways and it will respond clearly based on your documents. What makes it powerful is that you don't need to copy paste content or re-explain your content every time. Notebook LM remembers your files, so it feels like working with an assistant who's already read all your notes. And the best part is, no coding or technical skills is needed. Just upload and start asking your questions. In this tutorial, I'll show you exactly how to use it, from setting it up and uploading files, to asking smart questions and exploring features. We'll also compare it with tools like ChatGPT and Notion AI, and of course, talking about pricing and whether it's free or not. And by the end of this video, you'll know if Notebook LM is the right AI tool for you or not. So stick around and let's get started and make your notes work smarter and not harder. Alright, so let's get started with the Notebook LM. So I'll just search in the Google and head over to this website from here. Just click on Try Notebook LM. Make sure that you have logged in from your account. Alright, the Gmail account. And here it says that welcome to Notebook LM. We are excited to help you explore the power of AI. We value your privacy and never use your personal data to train Notebook LM. So we can just click on this thing because it might send you some notification. So I'll just skip this thing and click on OK. All right. So here it says, welcome to Notebook LM. We can create your first notebook. So Notebook LM is an AI powered research and writing assistant that works best with the sources you upload. So let's see the type of sources. So you can also upload documents and Notebook LM will answer the detailed question. Then we can also convert the complex material into easy to understand formats like FAQs or like briefing docs. Then we've got this thing, add key resources to a notebook and share with the organization to create a group knowledge base. All right. So you can, you can either click on create or you can try an example notebook. So for now, we'll just click on create. So it says you can add your sources from here. So sources will let Notebook LM base its responses on the information that matters most to you. So in case you're just planning to create a marketing plan, a course reading, or you're just maybe researching on some particular topic and you want to create your research notes, you can, if you want a transcript of a particular video or a summary of a YouTube video and anything you want, you can just do it with the help of Notebook LM. So here you can upload your sources, you can drag and drop your files and it supports PDF, text, audio, as well as MP3 format. So these are the sources format we can use. Uh, first, we have Google Drive. You can either upload in Google Docs or Google Slides. Then we've got link here. You can enter the website link, any blog, and then it will give you the summary and the notebook of that particular website you want. You can also enter the YouTube URL and it will give you all the transcript, the summary, or the particular note you want to create from your YouTube channel, any YouTube channel you want. You can also copy paste the uh, text from there. All right. So we'll just get started. And yeah, you can also upload PDF documents as well. So I'll show you everything step by step. So first, we'll just get started with this uh, website link and see how it works. All right. So I have an article, a blog post on uh, what are LLM from Amazon Web Services. So I'll just paste the URL here 
and then I'll just click on insert. So you can see that a notebook is being created. Just wait for a few seconds and yeah, it's ready. So it gives you a complete chart summary of the large language model and AWS overview. So from here, you can actually uh, read this. It's actually a summary of your article which you have copied. Yeah. And from here, you can actually ask any question related to the article which you have in your mind and it will give you an answer to that. So from the navigation bar from here, when you just click on this, so it will give you your source guide, okay? So here we have the summary as well. Again, we have the summary here and we have it here also. All right. And these are the key topics which are being covered. The large language model, generative AI, model trains. So if you click on this, you can see, like I'm basically asking question like discuss large language model and now it will give us the answer. So you can see that it has given us the answers here. It's a very large deep learning model. And these answers are mostly from the uh, article which we have given the link for. And these uh, pointers which you see from here, these are actually the reference pointers of the actual data source. All right. So when you just click on this, you'll just you just click on this from here and see it will redirect us to the actual uh, data source from where it's taking this particular chat summary. All right. So if you want to get along with the uh, article, like from where are we getting these answers, you can also just have a look of all of these things. So it's giving us everything in a very detailed answer. Let's suppose I'm asking, what are the limitations of large language model? And I'll just click this arrow button. All right. So it has given us, well, the sources highlight impressive capabilities and potential. They also explicitly towards the limitation. And according to the sources, it is giving us answers based on the sources which we have provided. So unlike chat GPT, it won't take your the general answers from all the websites, but then it will actually take the answers based on the article or whatever link which we are giving to the notebook LM. Okay. So from here, you can actually save the note if you would want to. All right. One more feature I wanted to show is uh, you can have this add note feature from here. Like suppose when you're going through this particular uh, notes, so you can add a note and you can just... Uh, like whatever node you want to add from here based on this topic, you can do that. Then we've got this mind map feature also. So let's see what this mind map feature does. So it's generating a mind map of the particular LLM model which we have created. You see, it's so cool, right? You don't have to actually create anything from scratch. Just upload a document and then it will give you a mind map feature plus your notes, summaries, audiobook, everything. So it works pretty great. And from here, you can also download if you would want to. So you can see that it has given us the definition, how they work and everything. So if you want to just look into the example, so we'll just click here and yeah, so we are directed to the examples from here and the examples also, it's given us again, the mind map feature of the OpenAI GPT, whatever example they have given. So it's a pretty good uh, flow chart way, I mean, of reading any particular article, blog you want to and yeah, so if you now again want to go to the direct source point, you can do it from here. Now let's see the one more feature, which is the audio overview. So if you want a podcast of any particular website, you can actually click on this and uh, the podcast will be generated. We'll just see that. But before that, we'll see how can we actually add more sources if we would want to. So from here, let's suppose I want to add a YouTube uh, URL. So from here, you can actually go to any YouTube channel from here. And uh, let's suppose I like this IBM or uh, one. So I'll just uh, GPT or gener copy the link from here. And I'll just go back to my uh, notebook LM. And I'll just paste the YouTube URL, all right? And just click on insert. So what it will do is it will actually extract all the transcript of that particular video. So we'll just see to check. All right, so you can see that our uh, video, the source guide is ready from here and the video is seeing unavailable, but then it will be available in a few minutes and we have the whole transcript ready here. Okay, 
so now these are the key topics that has been covered in this video so you can actually click on that and see what key topics have they discussed and it will be shown in the chat window from here all right so it's the same as we did for article now we'll just see at the audio overview so you can have you can see that there are two hosts specifically and you can just click on generate from here so it will actually generate the conversation based on whatever sources we have given to the notebook lm now one more thing if you want to actually uh, just have the audiobook ready for only this particular article which we had given before and not the youtube one so you can just uncheck it from here so it will only give the conversation the audio based on the you know the sources which we have given here it will take a bit while so we'll just wait for a few minutes so yeah our uh, audiobook is ready now so we'll just play this button from here and see what podcast has been generated so you've sent over some really uh, mind-bending stuff this week, these large language models, LLMs, mm -hmm. and you're definitely not alone wanting to, you know, get past the buzzwords and figure out what makes them tick, why they're suddenly everywhere. Yeah, exactly. There's a lot of hype. Right. So that's what this deep dive is all about. Yeah. We've got actually a great starting point here with the IBM technology transcript, how large language models work. Yeah, that's a good word. And also this really clear AWS explanation, what is LLM? Large language models explained. Two really solid sources. It's interesting how they approach it, isn't it? One video, one more like an article. Totally. So our mission today is just to pull out the key stuff, the really fascinating insights from both, give you a clear and a hopefully maybe even surprising look at this tech. Absolutely. Get ready for some big numbers. Uh, so as you can see that it has generated an actual podcast audio between two people, right? So just by giving the article link, you just don't have to do anything and everything will be done. I mean, this is one of the coolest features of uh, Notebook LM and I just really love it. All right. Now we'll also see some other features, which are the study guide and the briefing talk timeline as well. So what it basically does is, it will generate the timeline based on the content and the sources you have provided. So we'll just see. All right, we'll just click on this. And here is a detailed timeline of all the main events covered in the provided sources. So yeah, so as you can see, this timeline focuses on the concepts, technologies, and all the applications of the large language model here. And these are the cast of the characters mentioned. So you know, it will give you actually a detailed structure of everything. I mean, whether you want a briefing talk or FAQ or a study guide for you. So we'll also just check this briefing talk. How is it generating? Yeah. So here our briefing talk is actually ready. And here you can see that date is mentioned. It's prepared for this party, subject name, and what is large language model then how it works, its architecture, the importance, capabilities, application, everything has been done in a structured way, right? Then we've got this FAQ format also, which will give you all the uh, questions based on the article which I have given. So when I click on this, the frequently asked questions about large language model is ready here. And this is the first question, which is what exactly is a large language model? Second one is how do it work? for this the practical application so you don't have to actually go through the google and search what are the faqs on this topic i mean everything will be done in this particular one ai website which is notebook lm do not have to search now if we compare it with chat gpt then obviously it is not that detailed i mean notebook lm to get a stand over here because chat gpt will actually give you I mean, a clear structure or whatever prompts you're giving to ChatGPT, like, let's suppose, uh, summarize this particular uh, article for me. But then in Notebook LM, you will get the audio overview, mind map feature, the content brief, the timeline structure, everything. So it does offer a lot of features as compared to ChatGPT and the other AI tools. Now, if we compare it with Notion AI, then it's more about creating new content inside your workspace. All right. So when you just click on Notion AI, we'll also see that. So let's search Notion AI. All right. So with the help of Notion AI, as you can see, you can 
you have to create a workspace and then you can just create it but with the help of notebook lm you can actually build your personalized research i mean it's really good for researching purpose i mean if you want to research on any particular domain or topic it's really good for that and it will remember all your files and it answers only for them like only the files which you had given it's like having an ai that's trained on your own notes and that's what makes it perfect for students researchers writers and even for content creators now that we have discussed almost all the features of notebook lm everything so we'll just uh, see its pricing structure from here so just let's if you want basically it's free of course for you to use obviously but then if you want to upgrade it to plus i mean uh, let's see what features does it give all right so it says that it's obviously free of cost and if you want to upgrade it you would have more so in the free cost plan you'll just be offering these features which is 2 tb of storage gemini mail docs sharing notebooks collaborating styling your own audio reviews notebooks and many things so i mean it's pretty good i mean we do not actually need an upgraded version of this but then if you go for it you would have to update your plan let's see what plan it gives so the pricing structure for this is around uh 1950 rupees per month and then you can get one month free trial also but then uh, it's pretty good if we go with the free version because you get a lot of features there as well Also, just a quick information, guys. If you are interested in mastering the future of technology, then the professional certificate course in generative AI and machine learning is the perfect opportunity for you. Offered in collaboration with the ANIC Tech Academy, IIT Kanpur, this 11-month live and interactive program provides hands-on expertise in cutting-edge areas like generative AI, machine learning, and tools like ChatGPT2, DALL-E2, and Hugging Face as well. So hurry up and enroll now and find the course link in the description box below and in the pin comments. So guys, that's a wrap up on this video. If you really like this video, do hit the notification bell, share and subscribe for more videos by Simply Learn. Thank you and keep watching. So guys, that's a full walk through of how we use Notebook LM from start to finish. You can try it with your own study material, client research, or project notes. It's like having a personal research assistant of your own. So if this video demo helped you make sure to like share and subscribe and hit the notification bell for more videos by simply learn thank you and keep watching i'll see you in the next video staying ahead in your career requires continuous learning and upskilling whether you're a student aiming to learn today's top skills or a working professional looking to advance your career we've got you covered Explore our impressive catalog of certification programs in cutting-edge domains including data science, cloud computing, cybersecurity, AI, machine learning, or digital marketing. Designed in collaboration with leading universities and top corporations and delivered by industry experts, choose any of our programs and set yourself on the path to career success. Click the link in the description to know more. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.